Hey everyone, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious cranberry and jalapeno Moscow mule. Now, I'm actually gonna roast the cranberries, but also I'm gonna use this cocktail mixer, Jax, it comes from Lance Bass, so you should check that out. And I have an interview with Lance Bass from the Fancy Food Show, so check that out too. That'll be midway in the video, so let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna roast our cranberries. But before we do that, I'm gonna toss them with just a little bit of the cocktail mixer. Um, I'm gonna do that because I wanna actually add some sugar to them and then roast them so they just kinda get nice and caramelized and soft and we're gonna use them in a cocktail. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the cocktail mixer to the cranberries. Just enough to get them a little wet. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm gonna add in some sugar and I wanna coat the cranberries with the sugar before I roast them just to really caramelize them and sweeten them. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss those. Okay, so the cranberries are completely coated with the sugar. Now I'm gonna transfer them over to a baking sheet and I'm just gonna roast them on the baking sheet. You don't need parchment paper or anything because as the cranberries are roasting, they're gonna kind of pop they release those juices that will be, once again, really wet when they're done roasting. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to grease the pan or anything. Just go ahead and add them to the baking sheet. The part that's important is you wanna make sure that the cranberries are all spread out in an even layer. That's really the main part for when you're roasting them. So just go ahead and spread them out. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and roast this until they're just nice and juicy. Okay, so while the cranberries are roasting, this is the perfect time for you to check out that interview I did with Lance Bass. I spoke with him at the Fancy Food Show where we talked about the Jack's cocktail mixer. He spoke about the inspiration behind the product. He also talked about like the different flavors that they were exploring. Not all flavors that they were looking at made it to market initially. You have to start somewhere. Um, this ginger lime was one of them. I really enjoyed this one, so that's why I wanted to start with it. But check out what he had to say, and also check out my amazing like rainbow spitting T-Rex shirt. So go watch that. Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone. I'm here at the Windsor Fancy Food Show in San Francisco. I have Lance Bass here who's launching an amazing mixer called Just Add X. Show them what they got. There you go. Look how pretty it is. Just Add X. Mixologist inspired craft cocktails that you can impress your friends with. Now, what's your favorite flavor? Oh my god, it's hard. It's like choosing your favorite <laughs> baby, Jerry. It's uh, But everyone has a favorite baby, they just don't that's say it. It. Okay, here's my favorite, <laughs> and it's ironic because this probably won't be in the first launch of this because we can only choose maybe four flavors, but we have seven. But I have to say, lavender lemonade. Oh, nice. Have you tried this one yet? I'm gonna try it now. Okay, oh my gosh. This is, if you like lemonade. I do. And this I love the, lavender, actually. This is the best lemonade you'll ever have. And now imagine a rum or a vodka <laughs> in it, you know, shaken with ice. I imagine ice. that in everything I drink. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> well, I have rum right here if you want to try it. <laughs> That's really nice. It's really yeah. smooth. You yeah. Know, it has the lavender kind of softens mm -hmm. the thing a bit. It's and nice. it doesn't leave a film or anything. No. It's, not, it's not sweet, you know, where it just... Yeah. I know what I'll be drinking tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so that's your favorite one. Yeah. Um, and everyone else's favorite is the blueberry tea. Okay, the so blueberry tea. So this is tea. great. It has black tea, blueberry, all kinds of things in it. But this um, is what it's going to look like. Yeah, but yeah, this is what it'll look like <laughs> in stores. And it's great with whiskey. This is the really good one with whiskey. Now, yeah. what was the inspiration behind getting involved with like food in general yeah well I mean I'm, I've always been a foodie like I, I love you know anything food and beverage uh, and I started kind of getting into it um, with these saucy lips that okay. I have these these little things here because mm, really, I'm from the south and I love my hot sauce okay. <laughs> um, and then a friend of mine and I were talking about uh, Jax Taylor who is our partner and we we're like we need to invent something for Jax so he has something to do on Vanderpump Rules, <laughs> and it needs to have something to do with how horrible of a bartender he is. And so we created a drink that's great for horrible bartenders. Awesome. So it just, it, it wrote itself, it really did. And now, when you, you created this drink, and like, how did you decide on the flavors? Like, what was sort of the process for that? Well, um, I, with the Bubble Tap trailer, we've had a lot of uh, good research with okay. what people are wanting to taste right okay. now, especially millennials that aren't going out anymore. They like to have their little parties at home. And they- cheaper and it's safer. It's cheaper, yeah. And they, want, <laughs> and they actually want things that taste good. Yeah. You know, gone is the day that we're like, I'll do a Doers on the Rock and pretend I like it. <laughs> no, like, men will be like, yes, I like a strawberry basil. I'm into it. <laughs> So that's, you know, we wanted to create something that's just very flavorful that you can just go and, you know, 
Pretend you're a mixologist. Okay, okay that yeah. works. You can, you can pretend. It's all yeah. about that. Now, this is your first time at the Fancy Food Show. It is, like, yeah. What do you think so far? It's, ama it's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. Uh, I've only seen maybe a tenth of what's going on here. <laughs> And I'm so full already because people just shove things at you. Like, yeah. here, try this cheese. I've had about 500 barbecue sauces today. And I couldn't tell you, like, which one I like the best because they all just taste the same at this point. Now, is there something particular that you're a big fan of, like ice cream or cookies? Or what's your, like, favorite yeah, kind of thing to go to? Yeah, I'm a salty guy. Salty guy? Okay. So, you is know, that like anything... a double entendre there? Yeah, yeah very <laughs> salty. Um, so, of course, you know, I love my, my pasta chips. Right, like, right. It's really good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's this hot dog place that's really good oh, over yeah, here. They had the epic. original hot dog which is nice yeah. and I love cheeses like I love any any type of cheese there's mm. a lot of that here yeah yeah okay so tell people when they can find this where they can mm. find it yeah and how they can connect with you up until that point. exactly well right now go follow us on our social medias it's at just addx um, and then we'll keep you up to date with exactly what's happening we'll tell you right when we're launching in Los Angeles which will be in the next you know two to three months and then uh, when they come to stores we'll We'll t let you know first. Okay, okay. Yeah. awesome, awesome. <laughs> um, there you guys have it. So be sure to be on the lookout for Just Add X. And in the meantime, I'm just going to drink some lemonade. You have lemonade. all right. We'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, so the cranberries are done roasting. And hey, how fun was that interview? He's such a fun guy to talk to, right? And did you like my shirt? Come on, let me know what you thought of this shirt. I want to know. Drop a comment below. So we're now ready to make the cocktail. The cranberries are done roasting, so I'm gonna add some of the cranberries to a Collins glass. By the way, a Collins glass is this. Typical Collins glass. Um, it's around between 10 and 12 ounces, typically. So I'm gonna add some of the cranberries, the roasted cranberries to that. And then a slice of jalapeno. And I'm just gonna muddle that, but I'm gonna muddle it with just a splash of the Jack's uh, Stubborn Mule mix just to give it a little bit more liquid than what the cranberries provide. Kind of infuse it with those flavors of jalapeno. Let's go ahead and work those together. Okay. Now you want to fill the Collins glass with about two thirds full of crushed ice. Okay, so now we're going to add in the mixer itself. Before I get into that, I'll just explain the difference. So a Moscow mule, is not made with bourbon, but uh, Lance, being from the South, is a bourbon guy, which I approve of. And we're making a um, bourbon-based Moscow mule, which is sometimes referred to as a stubborn mule, which is what he actually called the name of this uh, actual mixer. So we're using that. So I'm gonna add in the stubborn mule, add in our bourbon, and then we're gonna top it off with just a little bit of club soda and some fresh lime because what's a mule without some lime in it? And some more of the roasted cranberries to go on top. And of course, mules also require fresh mint, so I'm gonna do that too. That's all it takes to make this delicious roasted cranberry and jalapeno Moscow mule. The thing that's great about this is the mixer does most of the heavy lifting, right? So even if you don't wanna make a really fancy cocktail with it, you can use this to make just a straight up mule by adding your favorite alcohol to it. If you're not a vodka person, you can use bourbon. You could even use tequila because it's just ginger and lime. So those flavors go with a lot of different things. So that's all it takes to make delicious cranberry holiday cocktail. Um, anyway, check out uh, Just Add X, which is Jax on Twitter or Lance Bass. Let them know what you think of this recipe. Hey, follow me too. I'm at Jerry James Stone. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. If you like to drink or cook like I do, I release new videos every single week. And hey, if there's something you want to see, just drop a comment below. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and be sure to check out Jax. Have a good one. You should probably uh, follow Jax on Twitter. I believe it's, uh, shit, I have to look it up. <laughs>